Good evening, uh, my friend Chris of uh, Chris and Anne over in Bampton in Bridlington has sent me a very, very interesting collection of World War I uh, photographs. Now these photographs have somehow found their way to be placed on the back of postcards and the postcards were then sent by Chris's gr uh, grandfather to his great aunt Edith and uh, she had them for all these years and then they found their way into uh, Chris's hands and he has sent me uh, copies via email and uh, uh, we want you to see these obviously the, these have not seen the light of day uh, you know, to the general public and this is arch archive um, material and well worth uh, viewing and Chris's grandfather is in uh, several of the photographs um, when you see the three dispatch riders, he's the one in the centre. And I know it's only a guess, but we reckon that the, the best uh, stab we can make of it is that these photographs were taken in and around 1915. And they come from uh, probably in and around uh, the Yeep area of France. Um, not quite sure on that, but that's that's a, a, a possibility. I uh, suspect that the motorbikes in question uh, were Triumphs, um, Triumph uh, 550 uh, cc side valve four-stroke engine, and they had a three-speed gearbox and a belt transmission. They produced a three and a half. Uh, horsepower and they were called the Trusty Triumph and they delivered actually a respectable uh, 45 to 50 miles per hour top speed. They were used off-road and on-road uh, because if you, if you were travelling down a road uh, you were going to be detected far easier so you, you took your bike cross-country uh, which uh, was, was, was tough enough um, you didn't know what you were facing and uh, these dispatch riders were unsung heroes um, putting their lives on the line every time they they went out um, young men of course saw this as quite a glamorous uh, job to do in the in the British Army uh, but uh, the casualties uh, rate were the casualty rates were high uh, so the, the British forces by and large rode um, Triumphs and then there were Douglases and then there were Indians and then there were uh, Harley Davidsons later on in the war. So I'm just going to run through these uh, slides uh, with no more comment. I hope you enjoy this from times gone by. Massive big tents there uh, in the background would possibly be reminiscent of our bell tents. Okay. <laughs> 